Hey, sweet peas, Neela Sweets here. And before the audio um, starts, I just want to let you guys know I'm opening audio commissions. Since it's summer and I have a lot of time on my hands, I thought it would be cool if I do um, open some commissions for the first time. Um, so that means, like, you can do, you can request, I mean, you can request audios from me, either, like, normal girlfriend audio roleplays or from any of the characters in certain scenarios that is not on my channel. Um, I'm gonna make a community post earlier after this, um, I mean later, after this video is out to have the rules and, like, how you can do so if you want to. Of course, if you don't want to, that is a-okay. I just, just wanted to have the option out there for this summer since I have a lot of time on my hands. Anyway, thank you for listening and thank you for all the support and love and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye-bye. Hmm, I think I have everything. Oh, can I forget this? Okay, now I have everything. Hmm, maybe I should double check. Spell book? Check. Tooful grown lotus flowers? Check. Energy beads? Check. And pure water from the stream just in case they get dehydrated. Check and. Oh! Uh, hey! Um, uh, Mia? <laughs> what are you doing here? What? Oh, nothing much. Just going to brush up on my matcha skills, you know, so I don't get rusty. <laughs> uh, you think it's a great idea? I mean, of course it's a great idea. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Now, if you excuse me, I should start practicing. Bye, Mia. Stay out of trouble, okay? Jeez. Okay. That was a close call. Sweet Pea, are you here? Hmm. They should be here by now. I did tell them the correct day, right? Oh, goddess, what if I didn't? Ah! Oh, God. Sweepy, have you been hiding in the bushes all this time? <sighs> Again? Stop laughing, you are not funny. You wanted me to teach you magic and I agree and this is the thanks I get? Hmm. <laughs> no, no, I see how it is. Mm. Let go of me. You won't let go of me until I forgive you? That is not fair. Hmm. Fine. I forgive you. They're happy. What? No, I'm not giving you a kiss. Because you don't deserve one. What? Are you seriously pouting right now? Okay, if I kiss you, will you let me go and stop pouting? <laughs> okay, come here. There, feel better, sweet pea. Okay, let me go and let's head to the great tree. I'm no fun. Oh, shush. You wanted me to teach you magic, so I'm going to teach you magic. Okay. I got a few things that should help us out. My spell book, just in case you need to look at the words. Energy beads. I don't know how much magical energy you have, and I don't know how fast you can replenish your energy. So these beads will help retain your energy so you don't pass out on me. And the lotus flowers are what we're going to cast the spells on. The spells that I'm going to teach you are harmless and should be very easy to master. Are you ready? Okay, good. Wrap the beads around your hand. Okay, good. Let me put the lotus flowers in front of you. Okay, let me see which one we should try first. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Let's do a growing spell. Okay, hold the flower in your hand. Okay, hold the flower in your hand and pour your energy into the flower like you did the first time. And repeat after me. Ah, uh, she wa na me hu. Yes, there you go. See, it's growing. And growing. And growing. Um, can you stop? You don't know how. Oh, duh, sorry. Um, just give me the flower. Thank you. Reverse the Ada. Huh. There we go. Oh, don't worry, my sweet. You did great on your first try. Way too good. Uh, oh, nothing, sweetie. You just have a lot of energy. And you kind of poured too much into the flower. 
But it's okay. Give me the beads back. And hold my hand. No, don't give me that look. It is just so that I can control your magic flow. Stop with the teasing and give me your hand. Hmm. You always feel so warm. Okay, ready for another spell? Good. All right, let's see, let's see. Ah, this is a fun one. With this spell, you can transform the flower into any insect you want. So let your magical power flow into the flower and repeat after me. Insecto ace adimo asiwa. Huh, it's a dragonfly. <laughs> How pretty. When I learned this spell, I filled my room with lotus flowers and said the words, and my room was filled with butterflies. <laughs> of course, that drained so much of my energy that I almost passed out. So my mom said I'm only allowed to have two lotus flowers at a time. <laughs> you want a harder spell? Uh, okay. But remember, although magic is fun and beautiful, it can also be dangerous. So let's not get overboard. Okay, sweet pea? Alright. Let me see. A spell that can be a little more challenging. Too easy. Too easy. Ugh. Still hate that one. Too easy. Too easy. Ah, here we go. Since you're already holding my hand, what you're going to do is make flower petals sprout all over my body. Yeah, I'm a nature fairy, so it'll be all right, I promise. Yeah, it won't be harmful or anything like that. But this is a challenging spell since you're practicing on another living creature instead of just a flower. Are you up for it? If not, we can go back to the baby spells. <laughs> Okay, cool. Hold on to me. Give me your hand. Okay, now remember what I say, but this time use your energy and slowly make it flow into me. Okay? Now repeat after me. Mushiwa ate feria achi na. Whoa, that actually felt pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, the flowers are everywhere. See? How do you feel? A little bit drained? Yeah, makes sense. This spell is pretty hard. I didn't master it until my fifth try. The flowers only grew on my friend's hands, but you managed to grow them all over. You're very powerful and very special. How about this time you try to reverse the spell? Remember the word I said earlier? Yeah, see if you can do it. I know you're a little bit drained, but reversing the spell shouldn't take that much energy. You got this. See? <laughs> You're really good. I could probably teach you harder spells, but I need more things. I just didn't want to overexert you or anything like that. Hmm. Sweet Pea, you have a scratch on your hand. What were you doing? Oh, you probably got it from work? You gotta be careful, okay? Yeah, I know it's a little scratch, but I feel sad that you got hurt, no matter how small it is. Ah, with that, I can use you a healing spell. It's not really advanced, but I think it would be useful for you just in case I'm not here, and you can heal yourself. Okay, I'm going to cover my hand with yours. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> There we go. Good as new. Yeah, no magic spell. For that, just flow your magic into the wound and it should heal it. I'm glad to be able to teach you some magic. Granted, I've never really been a teacher, so it feels nice that I'll be able to teach someone that's very close to me a little bit of magic. What? You have your own magic trick? What trick is that? Mm -hmm. I don't know how many times I'm going to fall for that. <laughs> no, don't, don't you dare mention my wings. <laughs> yeah, I can teach you some more, but you look kind of tired. <laughs> yes, you do. Don't lie to me. 
I took the beads away, remember? So none of your energy is being replenished anymore. So why don't you take a nap with me? Sleeping when it's high noon feels great, especially outside. Perfect napping weather, don't you think? No, it'll be okay. Everyone's doing their daily tasks right now, so no one will be over here. So we can rest easy. Of course you can rest your head on my lap. I love playing with your hair. It's so soft. Mm, yeah. I love you too, sweet pea. You are the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm happy that you followed one of my pixies while you were drunk that night. <laughs> yes, I'll forever tease you about it. <laughs> okay, okay. Rest your head. And let's take a little nap. I love you so much. Thank you for being my precious sweet pea.